At this point, I start every. Yep. I just open every Cape Escape session in a cold sweat. Yeah. Well, you're fucking safe and sound inside. Me and the goddamn Hobby <laughs> are out there with a the spitter. Oh, I, oh, it's not. It's not about Jet's uh, survival. It's about the the story I'm about to be a part of. Oh, yeah, have you created your lore for today? Three hours I do not war. do any planning <laughs> for these. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a distinct ha, 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 difference. Ha, me neither. Ha, I also ha, ha, don't ha, do ha, any ha. planning. I don't think about this at all after we're done playing. I think about this a lot and like the arcs that have happened and the interesting stuff going on. But I, that does not mean I actually put down any notes about where I, where I think things are going to go or where I'm trying to push things specifically most of the time. I usually have like one thing maybe that I'm thinking of doing and if I can and that's about it. Uh, I definitely did not write an entire player's handbook about my character before this started. Haha, <laughs> me neither. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. So I'm just like, alright, time to do the show and definitely make it good, but also I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's half the fun. Whoops, I rewrote the lore on a whim. Sometimes the DM just has one note card that says sexy goblin question <laughs> mark. It is very funny how like, cause I've, I've done a lot of D&D and stuff. Not a lot, a lot. Like it's never been a regular thing, but I've had enough experiences with it with different people that like, I've definitely been in infinite parties where it's like, okay, the DM had this mission written out for today. Uh, we almost started it <laughs> because of what everyone ended up doing instead. <laughs> because they got really fixated on like that cobblestone and that became like the plot today. <laughs> is anyone else getting popping from Keith's audio? Yeah, yeah I was just about to mention that. Discord's cool and good. Wait, what is happening to my stream? What is happening to your stream? One technical difficulty to another. What? What is? Yeah, I see all those blinking things. Like, what, what is that? Oh, it's the the thing. Avatars the, web, or the avatar website's not working. Oh. oh, weird. It's working on my end. Huh, I wonder if there's some way to refresh that. I don't. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I don't. I don't, I don't know what to do about <laughs> what the fuck. Ooh. Why? Why is today cursed? And that's where we're going to take our intermission. What the? Fuck? Oh. oh I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I was zoomed in at the bottom of the screen, then panned up. Okay. Not the, pay <laughs> not the payoff I expected, dear lord. Oh, oh boy. That's gonna be fun. Wow. Wait, there's a little... <laughs> you just had to look at sandals. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't get to jet before the encounter, but... <laughs> I thought I thought specifically something was gonna happen with Jet, so I was like, "What's gonna, yeah, what's gonna no, happen? What's gonna, gonna happen?" Like the, we're all imaginary, and we're all inside your head. Yeah, or something revelatory, or the fucking goggles just fucking break. Or the Mr. goggles, Man they naked. do nothing. <laughs> I, I, I feel like you you made them do something just to, just to spite that one comment I made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On some level, it'd almost be worse if you just looked at Jet and saw nothing. Like, oh, just moves right. on. I was very shocked that bullets worked on the slime monster. <laughs> I mean, if you're firing at that close range, there's sorts of muzzle flashes and, you know, the impact from the kinetic force. It's, it's going to be nasty no matter what, but. I'm just, uh, in, I'm inherently thinking like fucking, uh, well, I was going to say like Dragon Quest slams or something, but I guess you can often hit them with swords technically. It usually doesn't work very well. I thought I thought I, I thought I was gonna have to like I, I thought I was gonna have to get Sandals' attention and he was gonna have to like burn the body because I don't have anything to start a fire with besides an actual lighter. I'm like surely we have to like it has to be obliterated <laughs> while it's, while it's contained. And I'm looking at Keith's Discord. They're posting like Echo fan art that I've never seen before. Okay. Oh shit! That's awesome. Like, there's Jenna by a lake with a, a grimace shake. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. What the hell? <laughs> the, the lake is grimace, too. It makes so much sense. 
Manifesto's like, I know how we can solve this mystery. I'll summon another optional boss encounter. <laughs> good thing you didn't do that uh, while already fighting something. Yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> didn't just randomly like fill with the goggles around. in the middle of a boss fight. I have the feeling... Well, no, I'll, I'll wait till we... Yeah. How will this one also somehow attack someone's throat? <laughs> just... Uh... I guess that's the uh, uh, the name of last episode is Throat Knot. <laughs> Demonetized. Furry references are too esoteric to be picked up by AI. Right. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say that's yeah. the bots aren't that's smart enough. Hard. They haven't hired protogens. <laughs> Furries don't even use the term like yiffing anymore. No, that's like an ancient term at this point. I'm genuinely surprised when it comes up. I'm like, oh, right. That was a word once. It's like glomps. Yes. <laughs> oh. Rar XD uwu. People do that now, though. X3 they do it nuzzles. ironically so much that it's not oh, no. ironic anymore. My window crashed. Yep, Hold on. That's, that's why I did it. I did it ironically. Rar. How are you? You're so warm. Someone's happy. Mm. <laughs> You're so big. It doesn't stop growing. Daddy likes. I hope Daddy really likes. Uwu was another one of those ironic ones that now people use unironically. That just be that's just become the shorthand. Every time I'm playing yeah. anything, every time I'm playing anything with toaster and something that sounds like innuendo or furry comes up, I just mid sentence I'm like ooh woo and then just continue on. <laughs> That's the entire <laughs> acknowledgement of like yes I did yes I did think the other interpretation of the sentence. Let me see if I can find it because someone posted was on did I see it on Blue Sky earlier? Someone posted like a uh, Subaru, but their license plate was Sub. I, how would you even pronounce that? Suwubu. 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 sounds like that one like Animal Planet show. Uh, yeah, here it is. Zumbumbufu? Yeah. We just killed him. <laughs> yeah, we just killed him. Alright. His his the, appearance uh, his appearance as a monster was cut short almost oh. as much as his appearance as a non monster. Fuck, I will be right back. Hold on, one moment. Fucking lockpicking lawyer, more like cocklicking lawyer. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's libel, like, sir. <laughs> it's like, all right, here it comes. Here come. Here comes the wordplay. Here comes the clever joke, and then it's. <laughs> With his d d dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oster <laughs> snacks for the evening are Cheez Its and Barks Zero. Ooh, tasty. I've got some uh, pomegranate liquor. Raspberry White Claw. I've got Firestone Mind Haze Hopical Crush IPA Firestone Walker Brewing. It's a lot of words on this cover. That is a lot of words. Wow. <laughs> that, that, the words just kept going on this thing. I have fountain drink lemonade from uh, Subway. Actually, I had to lay, like, lie down earlier when I got back from Subway just because I felt so gross after what I ate. Just, That's what Subway does to you. <laughs> yeah. I, haven't had, I haven't had Subway since college. Yeah, I was regretting it. I mean, I've had things there before that are fine, but I don't know. I just ate too much. I got a foot long instead of a six inch. Huge mistake. Could never yeah, I had a, a foot long. I had a very Ooh. delicious sandwich from a local sandwich shop for lunch but it's always really filling when i eat it and then two hours later i'm starving to death so are, that is unfortunate my, a problem unfortunately there, a problem in my town there are several good sandwich locations and then the one subway i've noticed is directly next door to a panda express and that does not do it any favors <laughs> It is noticeable how there's a line out the door for one of these places and the other one's empty all day, every day. Because if you walked into a parking lot and saw those next to each other, who's picking Subway? <laughs> right. 
the the payoff <laughs> with the whole Mikey thing too. By the way, it just it was kind of blowing my mind because I knew I didn't mishear you, right? <laughs> you sure when didn't. We, when, Right, because when we got to the motel before, I, you, I knew I heard you say Mikey was in there. So when we were going back to the well, and I was just like, and we encountered <laughs> him there, I was kind of like, oh, I misheard. I guess that wasn't Mikey. It was some other NPC that I just, you know, crossed wires oh, there for you, a second. You said that the so, fuck, you said Mikey was in the motel with us? He said he, he, said, he said that last time we played, yeah. And I remembered it. And wow. I, so just when we, when we encountered him in the well, I just kind of, I assumed I misheard. So uh, I'm, that's kind I'm gonna of incredible. double check real quick in the background, but I'm pretty sure not a single person in the audience caught that. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought yeah. Ka was being cute about the fact that I couldn't I I mixed up Mike and Dave's names. No, yeah, I Ka straight up said Mikey. Uh, I think like maybe yeah. at some point said like Mikey's with us or something like that, and I was just like, huh? When we found him at the well, but I just. I assumed I misheard, so that's kind of cr- as soon as you mentioned that again, I was like, "Oh, of course, shit." <laughs> yeah, I don't see a single comment from anyone picking up on the Mikey situation. That's interesting. Gotcha. I do All just, right, I do so. just see someone that says, "Alexa, played down the well by the Pixies." <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! That um, is where we're going to end for tonight. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. From, Je- from oh, Jess' perspective, shit. I imagine this was just like annihilation, where. They think about entering the bubble, and then suddenly mm-hmm. they've been in the bubble for days, and there was no in between. You have lost Man, time you, going down the stairs. Uh, I'm so mad. You need to read the fucking Annihilation book because there's so much here that is Annihilation that you just aren't <laughs> picking up on because you haven't read the book. I don't want to. It's so good. You'll love it. I promise. Well, Kyle, you knocked it out of the park again. Very oh, well we did done. it. Yeah. This is great. This is a great lies. episode. Can't believe there's another throat. <laughs> oh. There's a very oral fixation with this uh, with this episode. I noticed people always say like, "Oh, Echo focuses so much on piss or musk," and I'm like, no, I'm, "I'm seeing I'm seeing cause narrative influence here." We haven't had a single person get a tackle okay. in this campaign. Okay, all I'm going to say is that for someone who claims to not be a furry, McSkinny, you are pretty <laughs> clued in on the things that get furries going, all right, dude? Your like, boy's beyond your years. I, I've been there. I know how to manipulate it. <laughs> <laughs> Never felt closer to someone through their writing than when fucking McSkinny made me instantly realize he was referencing a fox in the stable. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I feel was on oh, the same man. page. I'm like, I'm like okay, this I know what's happening wild. here. Wild. <laughs> so it is a trip because of uh, you guys know Nightmind, right? Uh, yeah, Nocturne. kind of. I know yeah, that he's, he's kind of like Sandals' his character, the, that kind of person, and he's in the Echo Discord. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we, we he... have the real sandals in our in our Echo Discord. <laughs> I didn't know he was in the Echo Discord, but I know he's got a I know he's got a persona with four eyes, and yeah. I know that he he just voiced Full Perp's most recent animation. Really? Wow. Yeah, I didn't know he was a furry. I had been watching his stuff for a long time, and then he just showed oh, yeah. up in the Echo Discord, and he's like, I have a fursona now, and I'm bisexual. And, oh know. yeah, he's got a whole Hell suit. Yeah. He's been at furry conventions and it's been on stage. Uh. Yeah, like the uh, uh, full perp, the guy has done a ton of Ed Astra comics and both of the animations for this channel. Uh, he also has this like bottomless butlers comic sort series going on, and Nick Nick, uh, Nick Nocturne voiced two characters in his most recent thing. I swear he goes out of his way to find one even greener than the last. Oh, what's that? This way, please. Where on a schedule? This world gets small real fast. I just assume at this point that 60% of all YouTubers are actually furries and they're just hiding it. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, ap- apologies to Sandals, but not apologies. To- <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, I, I literally, I literally gave up a point of scuffling. <laughs> just, a- after that, like, really sad interaction with me, and I was just like, well, why not? Like, I don't, I don't even personally get anything out of it. I just thought it would be funny. God, Manifesto still has two points in flirting that I spent. And I'm, like he's not used a single one on fla- or and flattery. None of that has been used. 
yeah i feel like normally that the idea would be to like use those points to like manipulate someone to your benefit but i'm just like nope just like just for shits and giggles why not yeah i mean you like really brutally uh <laughs> bru brutally <laughs> capitalized on sandals being really lame but also like is I think as like a player, you like want to get like a crit success on every single thing you roll. But like I have uh I I designed sandals to be super lame. Like I I want him to fail those flirting rolls. Oh, it, it's it's definitely more fun to fail rolls every now and again. That's like yeah, that's the good stuff. I'm over here having the opposite problem of God damn it, Maven, stop rolling six every time. <laughs> Jeez, Maven, Maven is rule. so cool. Maven yeah. is so cool, and I want to smooch her on the face. <laughs> yeah. Cooler than every PC in the group. <laughs> I can't believe that even for characters that were on screen for five minutes, somehow we have callbacks. The fucking Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're doing a good job of like tying things together. Uh, it's it's pretty great. <laughs> Your propensity to just take things and then they come up later is <laughs> amazing. It's been fun. I'm I'm so glad that like partially worked. If only Javi hadn't like immediately drawn attention to himself. Yeah, it kind of undid the entire advantage. <laughs> yeah. I, the the I, the only thing I expected to come up again that didn't was when Sandals took the uh, the drawing of Sorry Shug off the uh, jukebox. Yeah. I expected that to come back up again during the uh, uh, fight. That, that's I how was, you tell I was... her, her husband that she's dead. Sorry, Shug. <laughs> yeah. No! no! I, was, I, was, I, was, I was deeply considering that, but then, like... I was, I was considering it, too, actually. Yeah, like, the reason why I didn't was because, like who recognizes anyone's like handwriting you know what i mean like it happens in movies where it's like oh that's like that's like my wife's handwriting i would know it but like fucking if i, I if my Keith. husband wrote a note <laughs> i would not know what his handwriting looks like, like i would not be able to tell you what it's my own handwriting write shit looks anymore. like we type everything. exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, like i just didn't think about that i'm much more concerned i think I think the way Sandals is right now, he's much more concerned with like the quote unquote state of the game, what the viewers are looking for, and like everything else that's going on in the game is like of too much cosmic importance for him to not be super concerned about at any given point in time, right? Like he's still convinced that Oh, hiccup. Uh, he's still convinced that like Jet is is the main character here. He's convinced that there's something going on with the viewers that they're understandable. That there's something to correlate here. And yes, like as much as Sandals is horny for Maven, right? Like <laughs> he's he's interested in Maven as like a kindred spirit. Even if Maven were like. I'm not interested in you, you weirdo. Sandals would be deeply hurt by that, but like his main priority right now is still ultimately like get to the lighthouse, figure out what the fuck Iceberg knows. And I think Sandals at this point is like fully convinced that Iceberg is fine and that Iceberg has solved this where no one else has. Um, and that's what's driving a lot of his decision making around all of these people. That's why he tested the uh, the liquid against uh, was Killer Dave was and move. and the lemur was because he needed like Sandals is playing this like it's a video game, right? Like he's playing this like it's an ARG. There is no more reality to this situation than there is rules that have been established by the gameplay he has seen so far, which I think a lot of people will read as like sociopathic, right? Like he's not engaging with people like they're humans. He's engaging with them like they're NPCs. But also this is what is keeping him alive. And this is what is solving this problem in his mind, right? Like these viewers operate on video game logic so it doesn't really matter if people are 
think he's kind of shitty for being for treating them in like an NPC like way because he's saving their lives. Mm. And <laughs> that is more important to him than just necessarily like being charming or being the nice guy or like, you know, or whatever you want to read that as, right? So as a result of this, he is trying to push everyone in the group into playing the role that the story is telling for them, right? He wants Jet to step up into this main character role, into this role of someone who is like acting in order to find Melvin. He wants he wants to be this side character that's really sincere to Maven. And he he is recognizing her status as this like super amazing NPC that's being incredible. But he's also like trying to appease the viewers and keep them off their backs. And he's also trying to forward the narrative in a way that's like we're constantly moving forward so that we can actually get to the bottom of this mystery. And that's something that I think everyone else who's trying to treat this like a like it's reality um, isn't. And that's really it, that's really the crux of it, right? Like you can treat it like it's reality or you can treat it like it's a video game or like it's an ARG or like it's a it's a puzzle that's already been designed. And Sandals is fully in that world of like this is a puzzle to solve. Because if I approach this from the world, from from the reality of the situation of actually eldritch horrors do exist and they exist beyond our comprehension and they can make things exist and ghosts are real and hey buddy like uh your life doesn't matter and nothing is meaningful like that would just that would make him unable to play the game but playing the game is what is saving everyone so that's his primary goal Meanwhile, Jet hasn't understood a sentence that Sandals has said for about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm glad you got that that move with uh, testing for, you know, what was in Killer Dave's belly. Because with like the Benadryl thing, that was like, I knew you had a setup there, but I was torn. I was like, if Maven hadn't landed all of those, like those previous shots, I would have fled inside. And I, because I have yeah. fleeing that I haven't spent yet, I think. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have fleeing points I haven't spent yet. So like, I was definitely leaning in that direction for a second. But like, when I found out, like, you know, just his health was low for me, then it was kind of like, all right, gotta give this a shot. And it's funny that it fucked up the first time, but I'm really yeah. glad I rolled that six. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That was genuinely like an incredible roll. Oh, it would have been really embarrassing because I was like cursing at him when I rolled. So I was like, if I if I <laughs> if I rolled a low, you know, if I fucked that up, I would have. I was picturing Job from like Arrested Development trying to throw like <laughs> yeah, a letter, like a that, letter in the ocean, <laughs> but the wind just keeps blowing it back. Like. Yeah, 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 that's the way I feel every time I roll low. Is it's like, oh great, oh no, I'm Will Arnett in Arrested Development. Yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> oh no, I've Bojack Horseman it. Fuck. <laughs> like, we demand to be so taken good. seriously. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I think with a lot of this, too, we've done a really good job of setting up like what our individual individual characters believe in and what their stakes are. And I think the continuing pressure is going to be how those characters change and adapt to the reality of the situation that is happening to them. Right. Like, I feel like at this point, Jet can't keep faking or not faking but believing that nothing is happening sandals can't keep believing that he has control over this situation javier can't keep believing that this all has an explanation grayson i think especially can't keep believing that there is a guarantee that he'll get home yeah you know and like these are all really interesting places for our characters to be in and i like you know, without metagaming, like, I encourage us all to, like, think about that. Like, what happens when our characters can't keep being the characters that we've been playing this whole time? You know? That's, I think, something that's been happening to Sandals for the past game and a half now. Is, like, I... I can't keep playing this like it's just, you know, an ARG. Like, there are stakes. He wants Maven to live, you know? he He's now being confronted with this thing that you all have now witnessed, this, 
this ghost that is hanging off of him. Uh, and, and things are becoming far more real for him than he would like as he is, he is approaching this like it's a video game, you know, like it's an ARG, like it's a story. So there's a lot going on here that I think will force all of our characters to change in a way that I think is really interesting. What's very funny to me is that I was downstairs refilling my water during the break and just thought in that moment, did Ka get art of Jet without the hat? <laughs> 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 like 20 minutes before it came up. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. I've prepared several eventualities. That's great. <laughs> Don't know I what that means. <laughs> I thought it was funny that Manifesto just like took the goggles off when he didn't like what he saw because if if, yeah. like, this, if the situation was going to escalate that was going to be my immediate recommendation like just take him off you know yeah. and find out if we get hurt like by the thing while we're not seeing it but it's like yeah, once 100% had, once back we off. had characters <laughs> and then there was the other the NPCs and oh, there's so many sprites and then the NPCs had transformations I was then immediately wondering like <laughs> Just what ungodly fleet of extra art does he have in the just in the <laughs> rafters that we don't know, and how much have we like prevented the use of I'll even? Right I'm afraid to ask Ka how much this all cost it. I, oh I like to I like to uh, not be aware of that myself. It helps. Really. <laughs> I keep a spreadsheet of all my commissions, and I like to not look at the, the end of the column. <laughs> All right, well, it's time to edit this, I think. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for uh, this, everyone. <laughs> this, this is wild, and this is escalating. It is escalating. This is escalated rather, significantly. Rather quickly. Yeah. Yep. I've never had a tabletop experience that had bad end, so it would be interesting if this is the first experience. I've never had a tabletop experience that had an end. <laughs> you always just, dodge. You dodge the campaigns where we we actually had an ending. Every time I'm in a campaign, <laughs> I just retroactively realize, oh, that was the last session, wasn't it? <laughs> then we not, when we don't meet up for X number of weeks, I'm like, that was yeah. I guess that's over. Time to remake the same character for the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> One day he'll get he'll get a story. All right, next week, Operation Throat Not Melvin. <laughs> <laughs>